My name is Maddie and this is my partner Mitch. We're two ocean lovers and adventurers, currently on the west coast of Australia. We've just spent the last three months in the southwest and now it's time to head north to get out of the cold and see what else this beautiful coast has on offer. We woke up in Geraldton this morning. It's a seaside town a few hours north of Perth. There's a solar eclipse happening today, so that's really exciting. We're going to try and get a glimpse of that. We also head up to Kalbarri, where we get fun waves and immerse ourselves in a landscape that makes us feel like we're in another country. Was it the same night you had trouble with your car? went and stocked up on food and water and now we're going to head up to Kalbarri. It's so interesting how the trees, because of the prevailing southerly winds, all the trees are like sideways as you come into town. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Just very, very peculiar how it does that. We can actually feel that the eclipse is happening because the sun's not as powerful. It's starting to get a bit dark and a little bit colder, but yeah. it was like so hot just before, and the sun was super powerful. It's weird, hey. It's so it weird. It actually feels dark. Like that, we, there was a point we were just like, hang on, it's actually like colder and darker now. We got like 20 minutes, I think. I wonder how dark it's gonna get. It fully feels like it's getting dark, like it's getting late in the day. Mm. So yeah. strange. We've got the big rig set up, so we're gonna get some shots of the like close up shots of the sun. So we're all set up and it's starting to get darker again. And we're watching it through the lens and it's just, wow. Wow. How awesome. Oh. It was just by chance that we happened to be in WA for the solar eclipse the best place in the world to experience this rare astronomical phenomenon. We weren't in the exact area to experience 100% totality, which was further north in Exmouth, but we were pretty stoked to be able to get a glimpse. That is the coolest thing ever. I feel like it's going away now. Yeah, I reckon it is. And they're going to see it between like 1 and 3 p.m. How weird is that? Oh, what, their time though? Oh yeah, their time. So that's... Oh, so that's like now. 11 oh, and... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> jump off the jetty like little kids. beautiful Kalbarri. Tell you what, I didn't have any expectations about this place. From what I'd heard, I just painted a bit of a negative image in my mind, but this is seriously stunning. That's what I've learned on this trip, is just to take everyone's opinion of places with a grain of salt and just go out there and just see it all for yourself. One more thing, Yesterday, I decided I want to just film. So Mitch didn't do any filming yesterday at all. It was like pretty much just me. And if you're wondering why this video is pretty crap, that's why, because Mitch hasn't been filming and he's, he's a really good <laughs> videographer. And I'm just a bit of a noob with a camera. So I'm really sorry if this video is a very poor quality compared to our usual standard. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to chime in here. I think she's done an awesome job and needs to give herself more credit for it. We just got into the Kalbarri National Park and wow way. Wow way. Beautiful. Wow bloody way, bloody wow. Wow bloody way, bloody wow, bloody way. All that I go through for my peace of mind. Let it 
I've made some friends. How was it? Oh, yeah, it was alright. It was a bit slow. I made some friends. Did ya? No, you did. Oh, yeah. Early blue <laughs> I don't know who they are. It always happens so quickly. All the colour changes. I know. You look again the next minute and it's like completely different. Yeah. Spot. Mm. Green pesto pasta for dinner, full of vegetables. Ah. Oh my god. What? Come look at the bugs in here. <laughs> oh shit. All mozzies. Oh. That is the most mozzies I have ever seen in my whole life. Fan life isn't always as glamorous as it looks on Instagram, that's for sure. <sighs> Very early wake up this morning. It's quarter to six. Um, we're going out to the National Park for the sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch must smell, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. I was not expecting this. We haven't had flies like this since we were in like remote South Australia. This is insane. And it's so early, it's like 6.30. Oh God, can't get a break. We're trying to find the start of the walk. We, um, we don't know where it is. Not organized this morning, that's for sure. There's about a hundred flies on my shoulder. Look at this. This is so beautiful. What a way to start the day. The sunrise, the sun's about to poke its head up over the cliffs. Check out all this. The landscape here in the Kalbarri National Park is ancient, with the magnificent limestone gorges forming 400 million years ago. The National Park lies in Nanda country, where the traditional owners have lived harmoniously with the land and sea in this area for thousands of years. Whilst being here, we could definitely feel how special this area is. Whoa. This is a pretty beautiful national park. I've never seen a landscape like this before in Australia. This is what I imagine like areas in the Northern Territory and stuff to look like, but yeah. I didn't think we'd be seeing this today. Mm. I'm so glad we came out to this national park. It's exceeded my expectations. It's so beautiful. Lots of rich uh, Aboriginal history here as well. So did a bit of reading about that. And one of the locals told us the reason why there's so many flies here. There's lots of feral goats in the national park. So the government fly over in helicopters and shoot them. And so the flies are there. It's obviously attracted to the dead goats. And then on easterly winds, it brings all the flies back this way. 
so that's why they're so bad here so like obviously the feral goats is a worse a problem because they absolutely ruin the natural landscapes and all the natural vegetation here so that's probably the lesser of two evils i think i'd rather put up with these stupid flies yeah what did he say we're caught between a rock and a hard place mm, that's true shall we move on yeah mm -hmm. let's keep going It's getting busy now. All the cars are coming in. Wow, the landscape out here is amazing. It's just so vast and so dry and there's heaps of cool banks here. You only get one shot, so you gotta get it right. <laughs> My dad's film camera. So out here, we're way more remote than we, I guess, have been. The next town's like, three hours away from here so we've got to stock up when we can we've got our food our fuel now it's time for water water refill because you don't want to get caught out and not having any drinking water max flow this is going to take a while yep there's so many cars coming the other way and we reckon they're all coming down from Exmouth from the eclipse. There's just so many people on the road. It's crazy. There's not a lot out here. It's just dry and lots of little trees and shrubs, but it feels like it's getting really deserty now. <laughs> so we just stopped off for a swim and we've made it down to our campsite for the night. Check this out, this is the best view ever. It feels like we're on an island, like from up the top, you can see water out here and then out that side and then out that side as well. Like all around, it's so weird. Yeah, this is a pretty sick spot. campsite is so sick it's like nothing i've ever seen before the whole beach is made out of shells the water is just complete glass i think it's going to be an amazing sunset and it's just so peaceful so 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 cool oh, yeah this is what it's all about we feel like we're in greece or something like just the landscape feels so remote here. But yeah, check out what the beach is made out of. So why is this beach entirely made up of shells? The water here is extremely salty or hypersaline, and this is due to the vast amount of seagrass in the area that has created a barrier restricting water flow combined with high evaporation rates and little rainfall. It's actually twice as salty as regular seawater. The shells are the remains of a tiny species of mollusk called a cockle, which can tolerate this extreme environment, unlike any of its predators or competitors. Shark Bay is a very unique environment, and only one of the few marine environments in the world with hypersaline water. Massive splash just out here. Massive you said you saw splash. a splash further out, and then it just went Poof something big. Oh wow, beautiful. Wow, so cool. Oh, I don't want to scare you. Oh wow. Whoa. Sorry buddy. Just stood in sludgy seagrass and it was really deep.
fish in your hands? Yeah, or on my hook. I can't stop getting shots of the sunset. It's just so beautiful. I think I'm addicted to it. Every time you look at it, it's different. And I love that. I'm really grateful for this spot. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, oh, I tasted like those crackers. Mm. Sour cream and chives. Yum. This is just so sick. It's just like, there's just like barely anyone down here. And we camp right on the water. And we're so far away from anything. It's so good. And like, because we don't have full drive, like we don't really normally camp places like this, hey? Mm. It's always like normally four wheel drive to get into. And it's, I don't know, the spot we're parked in is pretty soft, so hopefully we can get out in the morning. But <laughs> yeah, it's so sick. That sounded like a kookaburra. Yeah. This is the ocean kookaburra. <laughs> wow, this looks so nice on the camera. This is crazy. Look at this, this is our camp. Oh. How good. It's so sick. I just feel like we're on another planet out here. Oh, how's the sunset? Oh, oh, setting. Wow. What is that? I don't know. Look, look at that. That looks like a dinosaur print. That actually does. That's insane. What the hell? Just for reference, that's how big my foot is. I reckon it's a dinosaur print. What yeah. else can it be? I have to be a dinosaur. Far out. Look at them. They're huge hoofs. What the f Do you reckon it's like a little joey? So like feet, tail, I don't know what that might be. Nah, it's I reckon that's a full hoof. You reckon? What yeah. is it? I don't know what that is. We can't figure out what these prints are footprints we we're saying kangaroo but then we thought that seems ridiculous because it doesn't seem like a kangaroo i don't know maybe we'll see one in the morning sun's going we still have no clue what these mysterious footprints are from if you have any idea what it is please let us know in the comments